All right, so our next animal that we're gonna discover today, we can find in the Great Plains region of Texas and more the western side of the United States as well. This animal is fossorial, which means she likes to dig a lot. She's a great digger. They uh, burrow and they create tunnels. This animal is kind of long and they have been known to eat prairie dogs. So they're frosty little eaters as well. And is also a mammal. It is one of the most endangered mammals here in North America. Uh, they have predicted less than 400 of these guys actually exist here in North America still today. So without further ado, it is our black-footed ferret. So what I have here today is actually a European ferret. She is kind of an ambassador species, like I said. The ones that we can find out in the Great Plains, they are endangered. So this is more the ferret that you will find at home. This can be more of a pet ferret, but she's very, very similar to our black-footed ferrets that we find here in Texas. Now, like I said, these guys are incredible um, tunnelers and she is very flexible, as you can see. She can bend in all sorts of ways to be able to do that. Her ears are really, really short here. And that's really helpful when you're down underground. You don't want anything getting caught on a lot of dirt and material and earth down there. So they keep the ears really, really close to the head. Now you can see she's really fidgety. This is an animal that is social and she loves to play. Um, right now, I think she would really, really, really love to be digging around this exhibit. Um, and rubbing her scent all over everything. These guys are in the mustelid family, which means they are related to skunks. So they are cute, not necessarily the best pets to have because of that very reason. Um, but outside of being really cute, these guys help us do a really important job. Um, they help with a lot of cabling. They help run cables. For some places. Um, fun fact, the wedding of Prince Charles and Princess Diana, it was such a big deal when that was broadcasted that they had to add more cabling for it. So underneath Buckingham Palace, there's a small narrow duct that they had these ferrets hooked up to little harnesses and they ran cables through them and they were encouraged the whole time by their favorite tree writing for them at the very end. So they're also very useful in that and trainable.